All right there, Charles, got your uh, 955 all completed and uh, ready to go for you. Uh, we have a uh, full tune-out done. We've got upgraded finals. We have Hi-Fi Receive uh, with a filter upgrade. We've got Hi-Fi Transmit done. I've got uh, internal five-band uh, equalizer. It's all set perfect on the inside, so it's a five-band EQ board uh, on the inside of the radio. Uh, we've got MP3 with line level recording. Uh, we have a uh, variable peak circuit here uh, out the left side of the radio. All the way up is wide open. All the way down is the least amount of peak power you can run. So uh, that is all uh, all set proper. Uh, over here is a uh, is the average control. Uh, some people call it. Uh, RMS on a bird, but that's not an accurate statement because that's a voltage measurement, not a power measurement. But average power, work power, whatever you want to call it, I call it average. Uh, is uh, you know on this side here, if you roll this all the way down, it'd be the least amount of a uh, bird forward swing on when you're on the average scale, and then all the way up it'd be as much bird swing as it's capable of of where I've limited it to anyway uh, for good sound. Uh, so uh, a little bit of headroom in the mic gain like always uh, back it down to probably three o'clock for uh, most voices if you are soft-spoken you'll be able to run wide open if uh, your voice is like mine and most others then it's gonna be somewhere around three o'clock or so on the gain um, uh, other than that I think that's most of the options I've got your modded D104 it's all ready I got heat shrink and ferrite on it here uh, and I've also got your mp3 uh, with line level recording cord uh, set right here so you have your mp3 cord and it's also ferrited you know protected for RF sensitivity uh, and uh, I'll show you mp3 jack right there it's back here in the center I didn't label it but you know it's fairly easy to tell you know we make it look as neat as we can but you can tell it looks a little different than the original original jacks here but right there in the center mp3 with line level recording it doesn't take anything special i have a lot of people ask me questions about the mp3 how do i run it can you make me an instructional video stuff like that all you got to do is plug it in you know any you know you don't have to do anything special there's no special app special mic recorder none of that well my guy just walked outside and the phone's ringing so that's real helpful there uh anyway so uh um like I said, you don't have to do anything special for this. No special app to cut the mic, you know, off on the phone, none of that stuff. Uh, you just go to your camera app, to your voice recorder app, download a voice recorder app, go to Facebook Live, any of that. All you have to do is plug it in, and it'll display a message on the screen that says uh, audio is, you know, you know, being recorded from external device or something similar, some kind of similar message that'll pop up uh, that you're, uh, that it is sensing the external mic. Um, so, uh, like I said, you have your receiver on, you know, cut your volume on, plug that cord in, and it will pick up line level from inside the receiver when you record. Only thing you need to make sure is that your volume is up, you know, just like you'd be listening to it, uh, and it will take the recording, uh, and you don't have to do anything special other than that. Some of the new phones have like a, uh, you know, don't have a headphone jack, so you'll have to get like a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter. Uh, or with the iPhones, you'll have to get a lightning to 3.5 millimeter uh, connection there. Uh, make sure any of these are uh, tip ring ring sleeve, you know, TRRS, so it has the right fittings to have an external mic. So anyway, uh, that's enough about the MP3. It's a pretty simple circuit. And then if you want to do playbacks, you plug it in, and then you hit the play button on your phone, and then you can control your phone volume for the loudness. So you can leave your mic gain at the same place you always talk on, Say so you go to a video on YouTube or something, you click on it, and you go to play it with this little MP3 circuit. You hit the play button on the video, uh, and then if you want it to be louder or softer, you just cut the volume up or down on your phone, and that works independent of the mic gain control on the radio. So you can have this set for where you want your voice, and then set the volume control on the phone for where you want uh, the loudness of whatever you're playing over there. So you can make it something... Uh, real quiet like music underneath your voice when you speak over the top of it You can make it super loud where it's louder than your voice uh, You know, so it's very versatile You can even have somebody call you on the phone when you're hooked up to this mp3 and they can speak Over your phone onto your CB over the air. So I mean it's it's very versatile There's a lot of things you can do with that circuit. So it's a very nice thing I still have people call about the PP ones, you know with them you know crappy little IC and narrow bandwidth and all kinds of noise that you get when you play them back it's just not you know it's nothing compared to this circuit so like I said it takes a little getting used to using your phone for it but once you do it's you'll never want that old stuff again um, 
All right, so uh, back over the radio here. Uh, like I said, it's got it's been decked out. It's got all the options done. We'll go ahead and show the output. See what the uh, what we're doing here. Uh, check out our carrier here. Our key and 18 watts right there. We'll go ahead and cut it all the way down. See where it can go down to. Uh, go down to about looks like about two thirds of a watt. It's a little low on this one, but that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and roll that all the way back up to the 18 watts. We'll go ahead and modulate it and see what it can do with the bird average and the peak control both wide open. Uh, we're modulating it. There's about 123 watts or so, something like that. Uh, we'll look right here on the uh, on the spectrum analyzer. Everything is uh, nice and clean there, uh, doing just like it should. Uh, we'll look at the output on the LP100A. It's like about 154 watts there, looking good. I'll look at over here on the LP700 uh, meter here, at 136 right there, it looks like. Yeah, 136 watts. Look at it on uh, bird average, so 100 watt slug there, and we're modulating to about 55 bird or so. 55 average. So uh, everything's looking good, outputs well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, uh, average control, which is on the right hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it all the way down and we'll see where we move from that uh, 55 bird. Uh, now it's still with 100 watt slug. Got way down to about 40 bird. So from 55 bird to about 40 average right there. And that's still keeping the carrier in the same place. If you cut this carrier way down, uh, the average swing is definitely dependent on the carrier on uh, any radio, uh, any of the radios of the Darlington pair. So we'll look right here, carrier is all the way down here. We'll modulate it. And the bird is all the way down. It looks like it's about 14 bird or so. Cut that average output all the way back up and we'll get all the way up to about 32 bird. Uh, so uh, gives you a little more range. And that's from the carrier at two thirds of a watt. So go and roll. Well, actually, let's go ahead and keep that all the way down. I'll keep that all the way down. I'll keep the average back up. And I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna cut the peak all the way down now and uh, see where, how low we can go as far as our uh, peak power goes. And of course, the bird's gonna fall in line with that too. So we're doing about 15 peak right now. Looks like about eight bird or so. So, you know, maybe a little better than eight bird. Looks like about nine bird, nine and a half bird. So uh, 17 peak, nine bird. We'll go ahead and cut this uh, average all the way down here. See what we got. And looks like we're getting all the way down to like five bird now and uh, 12 peak. So five or six bird and 12 and a half to 13 peak. Uh, so it's where it can go all the way down to. That's where the average and the peak all the way down and the carrier too. So cut the average back up, cut the uh, uh, variable power up, and we'll cut the peak power up. So peak power here, carrier, and average. Both all are wide open. I had the mic gain uh, still at 3 o'clock where I'd run it over the air right there. All right, so now I'm going to unplug here. I'll plug into the D104, and then we'll demonstrate what this thing sounds like over the air here. Uh, let me get my cord. Uh, this is a line level connection, just like I told you uh, earlier in the video. Uh, all you gotta do is plug in. As soon as I plug into this, it is taking this, uh, you know, uh, signal and, you know, capturing the receive directly from inside the radio. So it senses the external mic and, you know, works with our circuit that we've built here. So that is on our, uh, my monitor radio down here. Got the volume uh, just cracked up, you know, not very high. I'm gonna plug in here and we'll see what it sounds like. It says, uh, uh, hang on, let me plug my headphones in. Yeah, I had my headphones uh, uh, still plugged in down there, so I just went ahead and unplugged them so it wouldn't be trying to uh, feedback from the speaker on the headphones like talk back. But uh, anyway, uh, just letting you hear what it sounds like right here, Charles. Um, and it said uh, I'm recording line level uh, from the other receiver here. I've got the mic gain at about 3 o'clock right here. All the other settings are in the wide open position. And I'm just letting you hear what it sounds like with this handheld B104. All right, so let me go over here. We'll check out spectral purity. Looks real nice there. Checking out the output on the LP100A. The watch are good there. Oh, doing a 52 bird or so there. Hello, one, two. Check one, two. There you go. Just letting you hear how it sounds, and uh, uh, hopefully uh, it uh, does you a real fine job. 
All right there, uh, Charles. I think I went over mostly everything we have here. Uh, I can, I'll can. i probably do some more videos demonstrating more about the MP3 later on. Right now, it's not a lot, really a lot of skip rolling to show the line level stuff. So, uh, And I don't know how busy 19 is or not, but we'll, uh, we'll leave it at this for now. Appreciate the business. Any questions, you call us anytime. Thanks again. Take care.